everyone. It's Nona Grace and Mr. Brown. Hey, He's here too. Look over here. He's there. Not. See? Hi. There's Mr. Brown. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Brown and I want to use the magic mirror today. Oh, uh, hello. I'm from, I'm Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I forgot <laughs> that part and you forgot too. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have other things on our mind today. Mr. Brown, you want to look in the mirror and tell me who you see? No, no, not that way. I got to look in the mirror. Oh, I see. I'll tell you what. I see Nolan. Do you see Nolan? Look in the mirror. Hey, hey, Mr. Brown. No, no, no. Let's go this way. There. Go this way. No, not me. <laughs> he said, oh, do you see me? I see you too. <laughs> Nolan, I see Nolan. Oh my goodness. You know what, Nolan? I got your letter today. I want to show you. Just a minute, I got to put Mr. Brown down. I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Brown. I don't mean to startle you. Okay, see, I got a letter in the mail. I got a, a really nice letter. I don't know if Nolan wants me to read it or not, but look what I got, Nolan. Did you recognize it? Fan mail. I got fan mail, yes, from Nolan. And Nolan showed me he's got a new puppy. I'll show you a picture of his puppy. It's a beautiful little dog. Um, it's from Nolan. Maybe I could read it. Nolan, do you mind if I read your letter? There's the puppy. That's his new little puppy. Look at that. It's so cute. And his name is Rookie. Okay, it says, Hi, Nona Grace. My name is Nolan. And I'm nine years old. I love your videos. I'm a big fan. I got a new puppy six weeks ago. Just six weeks? Boy, this is new for you. From six weeks ago, and his name is Rookie. Your chickens are very cute. I'm sorry, little lady had a stroke. I'm sorry she had a stroke, too, but thank you for caring for the little lady. She's doing really good. She's outside and I gave him snack and she's not holding back all the time but she does stand right next to me. What are you doing Mr. Brown? You're just standing there so nice. Look he's on my <laughs> knee. I'm raising my knee. There you go. There's Mr. Brown. Hi. Hey that's my envelope. <laughs> he says I want that envelope. Well thank you very much Nolan. This was so sweet of you. You know what? I'll be sending you a letter, too, so you can get some mail. You've got a, a pen pal in New York, and you're in California. Wow, you're on the other side of the world to me, just about. That's a long ways away. Well, thank you very much. I also want to, I have another thing I have to do that I forgot the other day. I meant to do it, and I forgot to do it, and I wanted to congratulate Karina from Mommy and Kimberly's Adventure. Did you know they've got a new baby? Yes, Nolan. In the family. In the family, yes. It's a new grandbaby. So that means, guess what, Kimberly? Kimberly, oh, is Kimberly out there? Let me look. Oh, yeah, Kimberly's out there with her mommy. I see her. Um, she's, she's a new aunt. She's not very old. I think she's about, I don't know how old she is. Maybe she's... Maybe she's seven, eight, nine. I don't know. How old? Kimberly, you'll have to tell me. How old are you? Because I really don't know. I know you've got a cousin that's real close in your age. Maybe you're younger than that. I don't know. But anyways, you're an aunt. Or no, you've got another grand. It's not a cousin. Oh, she looks like she could be your cousin. I think it's another niece that you play with. It's amazing. I, I had a boy a long time ago. There was a boy that lived up the street from me. And his, his uncle was younger than him, <laughs> which is funny. So that can happen if you have a, a brother or sister that's way older than you. And you become an uncle and your mommy has you. And your uncle was born before you, or your nephew was born before you. You could be younger. I'm luckily. I was always. I was always older than my nieces and nephews. I was 16 when I became an, an aunt, and my first niece was was um, Rosemary. 
Mm. Yes. And then it was Heather. Then it was Rebecca. Then it was Richard. And then I don't remember. Mm. Forgot Julia. Oh, Julia, I forgot you. Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Good thing I. <laughs> good thing Jim's here. I forgot Julia. But, you know, they went, it was like 1970. You only even know 1970. 1970, 1971, 1972, 73. I don't remember. I just know there was a whole bunch of them in the row. There was Rosemary was first, and then it went. My uncle Laurie's family, I mean my brother Laurel, he's not my uncle. Boy, am I mixed up today. <laughs> I hope you're following all this. It's kind of crazy. But it was my brother Laurel, then my brother Joe, then my brother Laurel, then my brother Joe. What are you doing with my bracelet? He likes shiny things, and I hung some shiny things. I heard him ring the bell. But anyways, it went back and forth like that for a while. Then my sister-in-law, Diane, had twins. Whoa, that was... That was exciting. We have twins in the family. My father, um, before he was born, there was twins. But those twins didn't make it, unfortunately. So my dad ended up being the oldest in the family. And my mother was the oldest in her family. I wonder how many children are in Nolan's. How many brothers and sisters you have? Or are you an only child? Hmm, that's something that I'll have to wonder for a while. So we talk a little bit more. But anyways, thank you, Nolan. I think I think this compass on here is adorable. It's got a rhinestone in it. Look, I'll show you. Hey, that's my bracelet. <laughs> See? It's got a rhinestone in it. It's got a jewel in there. Huh. What are you doing? I don't know if you can see him. See what he does? He pulls on my bracelet. Hey, ouch. Not me. Ow. No, no, no. That hurt. Ouchie. Not my skin. Was there a, is there a, oh, you know why? There's a little spot there. You're trying to peck it off? No, you can't peck it off. Don't peck my skin off. Hey, stop. That's enough. Okay. Well, Nolan and Kimberly and Karina and all the rest of you that are listening to this crazy, I gotta go and put him back in the other room before he tries to eat my bracelet. Okay. Or you. Or me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey, that's enough. Let's go. Are you ready? <laughs>